I'm gonna open up these 1993 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers figures of Babu and Squat. Two guys missing from my collection that I had as a kid. So we'll open them up, talk about these characters, and uh, talk about their Japanese Super Sentai counterparts. Bukabaku, Bukabaku, and Totopato. Let's check them out. They have these awesome boxes. Uh, they have little bios. One to point out, not sure if this is canon exactly. It's from Venus. Probably not canon, but... Rita only keeps him around because he loves to fight. Uh, not the case. Not true. Allegedly, he's the bookkeeper for Rita. Keeps records. I don't know if that's what's in his pouch or what the heck, but... And Babu, who is the planet of the Pongies. Again, I don't... Is that canon or did somebody just crap out a bio for the toy? <laughs> so again, the artwork here, it's kind of a more detailed figure. Uh, on the package than what got released. You know, he doesn't have all these extra details on him, but what are you gonna do, though? You hate to open them because these awesome packages, but we got to. These boxes take up so much room, they're huge for the figure that's inside here. Look at all this extra space in here. <laughs> if I lived in a museum, I would keep them in a the box, but they're twist tied in. They'll come right out of the big Rita packaging there. Or the Witch Bandora, if we're talking Zhu Ranger. She never had a figure in the series, which is really sad. I, I would have loved to have a Rita this size with her wand and all that. Would look great. So we got Squat. He's got this extra carrying case, just like he had on the show. Again, his picture, he had more detail on him, but uh, quite a bit of different colors and things on here. There's this extra pauldron kind of piece here for his shoulder. Uh, the head is just molded to the torso, but he does kind of turn at the waist there a little bit. So, And his gun is just permanently in his hand. They didn't finish painting the handle silver. Uh, he totally shot uh, the Zhu Rangers in the Japanese show. He just, he just shot them. I don't think that clip is in the American one. Uh, but they didn't do a lot of fighting these characters but uh, they were always there so I kind of always wanted these guys but I never got them. So again he's just twist at the leg up and down arms but he does have this extra bag which is just kind of a piece here it doesn't open up and let you contain anything. Squat there as we open Babu. I'm free! Yes! Babu. That's just the twist at the legs. Oh, he does have his toenails uh, painted there. Guess I couldn't quite see that. He's got this kind of bat thing on his arm. He's kind of like a vampire in the Japanese show. They, I don't know if they kind of failed to mention that here. I'm not sure what his weird dead wings are about. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hang off of him most of the time here, but he has so much detailing and stuff on him and a little bit of two-tone here and there actually does a lot for him. Uh, turning head and waist, but just up and down on the arms. I definitely want, it was trying to uh, suck a kid's blood out in the Japanese one, which is another thing they probably edited out and didn't include in the Power Rangers show. These guys got to do so much more in the uh, Japanese show. Uh, Bukabaku and Tutopetu always kind of did a little scheme here and there. They even had human forms uh, they would turn into just to kind of spy and do things with uh, probably the actual actors from the suits uh, performing that. Kind of a classic comedy duo, you know, kind of the short guy, tall guy, you know, the goofy one and kind of the straight, serious -er one, even though they're both kind of goofy, but uh, Squat definitely portrayed more as the dumber kind of one. Also, interesting note, I think, you know, these monster kind of figures were pretty popular in Japan, but uh, these are actually not just carryovers from Japan. Uh, for the show when it came out, the Zhu Ranger show, they did not make the monsters and bad guys from that. They just made kind of the resorts and a few of the little figures. Uh, so for Power Rangers, they had to have these made, which is very interesting. I definitely thought they were just carryovers from the Japanese toy line, but uh, they were not, so... You know, somebody from Japan, you know, watching the Zhu Ranger show, they could easily get these, take them out of the package, use them for uh, representing that Zhu Ranger show, which is more what I'm kind of leaning towards uh, additions to my Power Ranger collection, is things from Zhu Ranger more, just so I'm... It's still just a Power Rangers collection, essentially, but I can kind of double for that Japanese show as well, because I've got to watch through all of that as well. They look pretty cool. I kind of always wanted these guys as a kid, but I kind of conserved and didn't really ever ask to get them just because I didn't know how much I would get to use them. They're not really fighting 
monsters, especially without Rita to kind of have like the whole team. I just never kind of got them, but as a collector, these are so awesome to get just because they were in almost every episode and always kind of in the background. Going, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kill them. It's like oh my oh oh my god, are we gonna kill? What? Yeah, I guess. Oh my lord. Oh well, let's do it. <laughs> just kind of a weird, uh, mostly cheerleaders in the Power Ranger thing because they didn't get to do much of their antics they did in the uh, Super Sentai show. But they do have a lot of really great detail just from mostly the molding and then they've colored them. I mean, even these bits of uh, gold and the, the yellow. Uh, the prototype imagery on the packaging for Babu has even more detail on his little pocket watches on his chest and has an angrier face and kind of a lighter tone and there's looks like there's some spikes and things on the artwork. So those are definitely prototypes uh, of the figures before they were really released in this way, but still looks pretty nice. Uh, Squat's prototype image, he definitely has different, uh, has painted boots uh, with the spikes and maybe some different color polka dots here and there on his clothes. And a definitely more detailed gun. Can't tell if it's really removable or not, maybe, because uh, his one hand looks like it's actually opened up like it can hold other accessories. Uh, but for the most part, these are pretty fully realized. Uh, only missing a few paint apps, probably just due to budget or something. But uh, for what we got uh, at the time of the 90s, they, they are decked out pretty well for just the side kind of henchman villainy guys. So that's definitely why I wanted to add them to my collection, because they just look pretty awesome. They're in all the shows and episodes. Uh, so I wanted to add them. They're just cool characters that obviously inspired Bulk and Skull, I would imagine, uh, for the show as well. Just because of that kind of goofy pairing like that. So I am kind of going back and collecting a few extra 90s toys and things and completing various collections like Power Rangers. So get subscribed if you want to see some more stuff and I'll even show, you know, my older things that I already had uh, before, you know, getting these extra pieces. And definitely check out extra Power Ranger stuff like my Spin Fighters and Trading Card videos as well. Uh, but for all my other collectible stuff, uh, get subscribed and I'll see you in the next video, whatever it may be. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, you're always... Talking with your stomach or something, I don't know. I'm gonna go suck some blood. Yeah, I'd do it. Okay, no I don't, but I could. You could imagine if I did. Whatever.